What is going on guys, my name is Dimitri and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to create a PDF portfolio using Wondershare PDF Element. Before we get into the topic of this video, let's make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. With that being said, let's dive into how to create a PDF portfolio in Wondershare PDF Element. So let's break down how to create a PDF portfolio using Wondershare PDF Element. So first and foremost, let's go and open Wondershare PDF Element as I have already, and then click back. Then we go to File, Create PDF Portfolio. And then from here, we can add different files or add a folder. So what I'm going to do is actually add some files all from here. And as you can see, I have a bunch of different PDF files now in a portfolio. Then you can go in here and take this. And once you click on one of these, you can actually open the added document to preview or edit the file. And as you can see, there's this nice little bar, navigation bar. You can go through the different pages. You can zoom out. has a lot of different nice functionality. And scroll through here, go to each page, type in what page you want to go to. Very nice functionality. Got a panning option as well. So as mentioned earlier, you can actually add folders as well. So I just want to showcase to you guys how to do this. So we add folder. So let's add these PDF files. And then what's nice is you can actually, you know, have this open up again. So you can see there's like a little sub window here where the, the folder is and that's that's a nice little option so that you can sort of have the organization you want in this portfolio. You can also just create a folder here. So you can actually do in here as well is go and extract or delete a file inside of the PDF portfolio. So for example, say I take this fruits one and then I hit extract. I can put it anywhere I want. So let's put it on my desktop, fruit. It'll go to my desktop or if I want to delete it, I can also delete the file by clicking right here and that will delete the file for me. So that's all on how to create a PDF portfolio using Wondershare PDF Element. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new PDF tips from us. Also, click the link in the description below to try out PDF Element free today. And if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment sections below. Plus, make sure to check out the rest of my tutorials here at Wondershare PDF Element so that you guys can see all of my other useful tutorial tips as well. Thank you guys for watching. And with that being said, I will see you in the next one.